Elon Musk's SpaceX is about to create history once more. The highly anticipated Polaris Dawn mission, featuring an all-civilian crew conducting a spacewalk, is now targeting launch on early Wednesday morning. Initially set to launch early Tuesday, the mission will be launched on Wednesday due to technical issue. SpaceX stated that the delay was caused by a helium leak in a ground site quick disconnect umbilical that connects the rocket to its launch tower. Once it lifts off from the NASA's Kennedy Space Center, the SpaceX Dragon capsule will be propelled by Falcon 9 rocket to 870 miles, setting the highest crewed mission in over 50 years. Billionaire Jared Isaacman has organized the mission and will lead it. He will be joined by Scott Petit, a retired U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel, and SpaceX engineer Sarah Gillis and Anna Menon. The team has spent more than two years in training, preparing for this groundbreaking journey. Polaris Dawn will reach its highest altitude on the first day, momentarily entering the Van Allen radiation belt, a zone filled with high-energy charged particles. The mission will take the crew nearly three times higher than the International Space Station. They're pushing the envelope in, in multiple ways, not just with the spacewalk. They're also going to a much higher altitude with a more severe radiation environment than we've been to since Apollo. And um, so there's a question of exactly how the electronics are going to uh, withstand and perform in that environment. So that's a bit of that's that's an additional risk that you don't face when you when you just stay in low Earth orbit and go up to the ISS. On day three, the crew will don SpaceX's newly developed extravehicular activity suits for the mission's highlight, a commercial spacewalk. The state-of-the-art suits include advanced features like heads-up displays and helmet cameras. This is going to be roughly uh, 870 miles, so this is a very, very high altitude mission, just to give you a context of what this means. Uh, the ISS, the International Space Station, is uh, roughly at 254 miles. And the Hubble telescope that we're all familiar with is about 320 miles. So if you put this into context, it's 870 miles. So this means that they're going to be exposed to more radiation than uh, the astronauts on, on ISS. And they're going to be farther than, than pretty much any human, uh, with the exception, of course, of the um, um, Apollo missions uh, to the moon. So this is very unique from that perspective. Also, uh, what I'm pretty excited to see is the first civilian spacewalk, which is an absolutely incredible uh, opportunity. Uh, you know, they're going to be on a, on, a, on a capsule, on a space, SpaceX Dragon capsule. Um, and uh, we're going to see that they're going to be uh, going out into space uh, with a brand new spacesuit, uh, you know, a, a vehicle that has flown into space, but it has never been uh, exposed to full vacuum, which uh, we will see on this very unique mission. Uh, and lastly, they're going to be testing some uh, communications with, with Starlink. And I think this is also pretty exciting because uh, this array of satellites will allow us to communicate, not, not only to communicate with these uh, astronauts on this very unique mission, but also paving the way for telecommunication systems as we go back to, to the moon in the next, next few years, which is going to be a very unique capability. And also there's a, a handful of very unique uh, biomedical uh, experiments that will fly on this mission. The mission also aims to test laser-based satellite communication with SpaceX Starlink network, enhancing communication speeds in space. Uh, and not only for the you know the, the pushing the envelope and, and getting the capability for the spacesuits, but also all the science they're doing. I forgot how many, but they have a, a, you know a ridiculous number of experiments uh, that they're conducting using their bodies as as guinea pigs uh, to provide data to to scientific researchers on the ground. After six days in space, the mission will end with the splashdown off the coast of Florida, where a SpaceX recovery ship will be standing by. The Polaris Dawn mission is a critical step in SpaceX's vision of advancing space exploration and making human journeys to other planets a reality.